Hello and welcome to Little Garden on the Prairies. So we are at mid-September now and most of the things in the garden are pretty much done for the year so it's time to do some cleanup and a little bit of harvesting of what's left in the garden. So we don't grow a very big garden here in our yard but um, we usually just grow things for fresh eating but there still is quite a few things to get done. We have uh, carrots and potatoes in the ground still. We have a lot of tomatoes to pick. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you some of the projects that we have been working on here on the garden in September. So I'm gonna be planting up some garlic here today. Um, I'm taking a couple of the cloves from my harvest this year and taking them apart and I will be replanting them into my space. I uh, really liked in growing garlic and want to try to increase my harvest for next year. So I'm going to be putting in quite a few more this fall and hopefully next year I get a, get a really good crop of garlic going. So this space here is where I'm going to be planting my garlic this fall. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this with this uh, little doggy because he um, he seems to want to get into whatever I'm touching right now. We'll see how this goes. He always gets a hold of my glove as soon as I lay it down. So I have about um, I think about eight or so cloves of garlic from last year's uh, harvest or this summer's harvest so I'm going to try and replant them see if we can multiply into even more garlic for next year Here. so I'm just going to spread them out in this whole area try to get uh, several dozen planted this year and see how it goes next year So I'm going to mulch this up with some more straw and probably some compost before the winter. This is really nice soil here. It's got lots of mat organic material that's been breaking down. I've composted this and put lots of mulch in the last two years. So it should be nice for these garlics. So this is where my raspberry patch has been for the last 10 to 15 years and it has been a constant battle with quack grass and weeds. We've tried mulching it multiple times and just always seem to struggle with, with the quack grass. So I'm going to try something different this fall and see if I can transplant some of these raspberries to these uh, mineral tub containers that we have. So to get these all prepared and ready for the raspberries, I first had to put some drainage holes into the bottoms, which I'm doing here. We also have a good supply of straw and recently acquired a nice big pile of wood mulch from uh, the, some trees that we had to cut down in our yard. So I'm gonna use these two materials to fill up the containers about halfway. So I started off with the pea straw and then put you know a few shovelfuls of the uh, wood chip mulch into each of the tubs. And so my husband and I decided that we could take these to our local compost depot, which is only about 20 minutes away, where we can get access to free piles of compost. And in less than 10 minutes, Preston had these containers filled to the brim with some wonderful compost and got these all ready for me to do my transplant. So from there I started to dig up some of these smaller sized raspberries from from the old patch trying to take as much root as I could with when I dug them up. So the best time for transplanting raspberries is in the late fall or early spring. And it should be, from what I've read, when the plants are dormant. So 
I'm thinking I probably have moved these a little bit too early because they are still having had a lot of green leaves on them. But I am going to just check them out in the spring. We'll see how many of these come back. And if I need to move more over, I will do that in the spring for my old raspberry patch and uh, just move some of the suckers that will be coming up early spring into the containers here. So once I had about three or four plants in each of them, I just mulched them up with some more straw and give them a really thorough watering and we'll continue giving them a lot of water between now and freeze up. So I have these raspberries out in this area where I have uh, six dwarf uh, cherry trees growing. And as you can see, I've already we've already done caging around these because the deer are likely to come along and browse on these nice green leaves or even the branches in the late fall or in winter time and can really do a lot of damage. So it may be that I need to do some kind of caging even around these raspberry plants. So we're gonna have to decide how we can protect them throughout the winter from the deer. So here I have two Portugal pepper plants. And as you can see, they have got a lot, a lot of peppers going on them. These are pretty hot peppers for, for me anyways. Um, I have taken in a few and chopped them up into some chili and different stir fries and they add a lot of heat to the dishes. So I think what I want to do before these uh, freeze, um, if they haven't ripened yet, I'm going to harvest all these green peppers, uh, string them on some fishing line and hang them up to dry. So I will show you how I'm going to do that. So I found a fairly large needle that I am just threading some fishing line through. And then from there, I just take one of my peppers and put it through the stem part of the pepper and just continue to string them all on the fishing line. So what I plan to do with these is just dry them out and I will jar them up in a jar and whenever I need some hot flavor in my cooking just take out one or two, grind them up in my spice grinder and add them to my cooking. So after I was done stringing all of my peppers onto the fishing line, I hung it up in my garden shed just to let them dry for the next couple weeks. And after about a week or so, I ended up taking it inside to the house because it's actually quite a pretty decoration to have hanging. As you can see, the green peppers are starting to turn red and some of the purple aurora peppers are turning color as well. So we still have some lettuces coming here and some spinach that I'm harvesting and enjoying still in our salads. The arugula here, I'm waiting for it to go to seed so I can collect the seeds and start some indoor arugula in my hydroponic uh, setup and I did do a second round of beets which looks like I should be able to uh, pick they might not be very big but I should get a nice little harvest of beets again this fall and still lots of potatoes in the ground to harvest so I'm gonna leave them in there for another week or two see if they get a little bit bigger and then we'll start harvesting them